guys, it's Jennifer Nicole here, and today I'm doing a super exciting video. I'm reviewing the Sav Savvy Minerals products. I've seen some reviews, but they're all from distributors. I am not a distributor. My sister does sell some of the Young Living and the Savril Savvy Minerals things, so I will link her info down below. She gave me some of these products to try, and I told her whatever I didn't like, I was going to be honest about, and she was totally fine with that. So that is this video. I'm going to be going through the products, telling you which ones are my favorite, which ones I don't like quite as much, and how they all worked and applied for me. So if you guys want to see that, then just keep watching. So starting right off, I have two foundation shades. I have Warm 1 and Warm 2. There are two ways that you can apply it. It says you can either apply the foundation using the mixing spray on your brush. So you spray the misting spray on your brush and then you dip into the foundation and you apply it in circular motions or you can use a moisturizer with the foundation mix those two together and apply it more like a wet standard liquid foundation so what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do half my face with one method and then the other half the other method and kind of see the different results that it gives me Josh is putting Ella to bed she's getting our all, all four of her molars in right now so if you hear her crying in the background that's what it is here is the shade warm one and I think that that's going to be the better shade for me and it's really cute it has this little sifter in the sample size so I'm just going to tap that on my little palette down here okay so what I think I'm going to do is on the left side I'm going to do the straight powder and then on the right side I'm going to add um, some moisturizer to it so first I'm just taking the brush and it's super soft and I don't know if it's a really really nice brush and then I'm just going to spray the brush with the setting spray. And then I'm going to dip the brush into the powder and then just start applying that on my face. So I would definitely say this is a very light coverage, but it's settling into the skin nicely and the powder isn't setting on top or anything. Um, so let's try building it up just a little bit more. And apply a little bit more setting spray to the brush. You just aim it in the right direction. Okay, so now I've applied a little bit more to the brush and just putting it on. So I feel like it has even things out slightly, but I definitely don't notice a huge difference. So let's apply with some moisturizer. I'm taking a little bit of Dollar General moisturizer, and I'm just going to mix these two together and see how it works. Okay, so I got some on my hand. So I'm just going to mix these two together. It's still a pretty light coverage, um, and I tried to. I know that I like a more full coverage, so I tried to add more foundation um, and not add a ton of moisturizer. But it does feel really nice on the skin, and I definitely like the way it looks better with mixing it. Um, but that's just because I have very dry skin. Okay, so here it is, all applied. As you can see, there's nothing bunching up or settling into any of my fine lines, which is really nice. I definitely like that aspect of it. It is a very sheer coverage. You're not going to get a lot of coverage out of it. Um, but if you're wanting something that's just kind of evening out your skin tone and you can still see your freckles through, this is really good for that. Okay, so let's move on to some of the other products. So the other one I had wanted to try out is the bronzer. And they have... So they have a few different options as far as bronzer goes. The one I chose is called Summer Love, and it's just this nice neutral bronzer with a little bit of a sheen to it. I should not have put on lotion before opening all of these. Okay, so now I'm going to mix the shade Summer Loved and the foundation shade Dark Number 3 for my bronzer. And then I'm just going to apply it. This is extremely pigmented. Okay, so I'm just going to get my normal brush that I bronze with and I'm just going to buff this out a little bit. I definitely feel like this is getting a little bit patchy and that might just be because I applied too much. Um, it's just not blending out as we like it to. But it is very pigmented and I think the color overall is very pretty. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Vell Finishing Powder and I'm just going to apply that on top. I want to see if I can get all of this to just kind of blend in together. Finishing powder. This one has a very intense glow to it. I actually really like it though because as you first pour it out, it looks really fluorescent and looks like it's going to be really harsh. But then when you apply it on your skin, it's just a very 
subtle nice sheen and it just adds a nice glow to your whole skin I think so far this is probably my favorite is the finishing powder definitely liking that the most and it spreads out really evenly across the face and just gives you a nice little a little glow to your skin yeah, I feel like that blended everything a lot more. Everything, it just really enhanced everything and just brought it all together. So, super impressed by that. And I definitely would say that if it, this finishing powder is a must out of the products. I think that you really do need it in order to create a very completed, polished look. Because it really is just blending all of those products together very, very nicely. So now for blush, I'm going to take the shade I Do Believe You're Blushing. And this is just a gorgeous peach pink shade and it has a nice sheen to it. I love when my blushes have a sheen to it. I think it just having that little bit of sparkle just makes you look young and awake and it's just it's just a very pretty nice look I think on anyone to have a little bit of a sheen. It just gives you a very nice youthful glow to your skin. And again, it is a very pigmented product. You only need a tiny tiny bit. And really, it really does go quite a long way. It's that nice underlining sheen that doesn't look glittery, but when you look at it, it does just look very, very pretty. Okay, so for my brows, I'm going to take this Multitasker. This is an amazing product. You can mix it with other, you know, powders to make them a little bit deeper, a little bit darker. So I'm just going to take my brow brush, and I'm just going to dip it into the powder and then just apply it onto my brows really like this color for my brows. If you have lighter brows, you can use one of the foundation shades, which is what I think is really cool about this line, is they have a whole bunch of different products that you can use. Um, you can use your products in a lot of different ways. I'm going to be honest, when I was first applying things, I thought everything was looking a little bit patchy. I wasn't quite sure how I felt about it. But as I'm moving along, I think things are kind of blending together and looking really nice. And I do think that this is good for, you know, just the average person and everyday look of just getting out the door. And it looks very put together and professional. It really doesn't take a lot of effort to do, which is always a huge bonus. I went way too heavy handed on this side. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm just going to brush some of that product out. Okay, so this brow is looking a little bit intense, but that was just my fault. I just got carried away. So let's move on. I th So for the eyes I'm going to take this shade it's the dark foundation number three and I'm just going to apply that in my crease and really warm up my lids normally when I film a lot of videos there's a lot that I'm editing out as far as blending and everything this is just going on super smoothly very quickly there's I'm really not I mean I've done all of this and it's probably been five minutes of doing I mean my face is almost completely done it's but extremely fast. So I'll give you a rundown at the end of all of my favorite products and products that, you know, I think are fine, but definitely aren't my favorite out of all of these. Um, but so far, I'm really liking how easy this is to apply and to get everything on. It's a very quick, get you out of the door look, and you can still play around with it. They have enough shades that you can definitely mix and match and kind of deepen things up. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade Smashing, and I'm just going to apply this all over my lid. It's just a beautiful light pink. Now I'm going to go back in with the dark number three, and I'm just going to apply that on the outer portion of my lid. And I'm just going to buff that out, and then I'm just taking that the shade Smashing again, and I'm just layering that back on top. So now I'm just going to take the shade Wonderlust, and this is just a very light vanilla shade, and I'm just going to apply that underneath my brow bone. For eyeliner, they have this jet black eyeliner, and I'm just going to apply that to my lids. Okay, so now that I have that applied, I am just going to take a little bit of the shade that I used on my cheeks, I do believe you're blushing, and I'm going to apply, apply that to my inner corner, and then I'm going to take a little bit of Wonderstruck, and I'm just going to apply that on top, just because it is a little bit more vibrant to liven things up a little bit. I was reading that you can use Wonderstruck as a highlight as well, so I'm just going to take a little bit of it as a highlight and just apply that on my cheekbones. Oh my goodness! I was not expecting that. That is like one poppin' highlight. 
I definitely think it looks very, very nice. It settles into your skin nicely and it's still a very BAM highlight. So that's super exciting. Okay guys, so as I have applied this, my opinions have just kept changing and in a positive way. I first put it on, I felt like things were looking a little bit patchy, very light coverage. And then as everything has kind of gone together, I just love the way it looks and my skin feels like it has absolutely nothing on it. Um, the eyeshadows blend out very smoothly. Um, everything is just extremely pigmented. I mean, you just put it on, swipe it on, it's right there. As I said, so far, this has taken maybe five minutes to do, and that never is the case with my makeup. I love makeup, and I go crazy with makeup. So it can take me anywhere from, you know, 30 to an hour, 30 minutes to an hour to do my makeup just because I actually really enjoy it. And that's something I do kind of as a hobby as well. That being said, this is super easy to apply. And I don't always want to spend a ton of time on my makeup. I don't always have a ton of time to spend on my makeup. So I definitely love the way that this is looking. So I got, for the lip products, I got the lipstick shade Smashing. And I'm just going to apply that with a brush. Now this is just a nice shiny pink. Now this is a newer brand, so they don't have a ton of shades of everything. But I love that they um, made sure that they have shades for both light skin tone and deep skin tone. And made sure that all of their products will work for both skin tones. I think that's amazing. And most companies, when they first start, they only have, you know, they have... 12 light foundation shades and here they have six light foundation shades but then they also have those deep foundation shades as well which I think is really just awesome that they're including more people when they're starting out and this these products are going to work for a large amount of people and because it is a powder it's very forgiving on your skin tone now this lipstick is very creamy very pigmented it feels very nice on the lips it's just a very beautiful shade so now I'm going to apply the lip gloss in the shade Embrace. This smells just like peppermint and I love the peppermint smell for lip products. I think it just it just reminds me of Christmas and it's just, I just, I don't know. It makes me warm and cozy inside. Okay guys, this is the finished look. So a rundown on all of the products. I love the eyeshadows. The bronzer is super pigmented, very pretty color. I really enjoy the gloss. I think it's um, very shiny and reflective. I love the eyeshadow. I really like the multi mixer that you can add in to different products and that I used for the brows. I love the blush and I think my pro favorite product is still the Vell Finishing Powder. I think it just looks very beautiful on the skin. I really love the way that it looks and I love the way that everything blends together. It's super lightweight. There's nothing really settling into my creases and I think that's because there's not much to settle into my creases. These products are super light on the skin um, and they contain no bad chemicals. It's a mineral foundation. It's all very natural. So as far as my least favorite product would probably be the foundation just because it doesn't give me as much coverage as I personally like. Do I think it's a bad product? No. I just don't think it gives quite enough of a coverage for me. It is an extremely light coverage. That being said, when you layer all the other products on top of it, you get more of a coverage and I think it looks really nice. So that's kind of my rundown. This studio is not sponsored, but I really do enjoy a lot of these products and I thought I would share them with you. It just enhances your natural beauty and I love that about this company. So overall, I love the products. I'll link all of Megan's info in the description box down below if you want to check out some of the products or, you know, get your own sample kit. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.